There has been an earthquake in Oklahoma. Actually, there have been 103 of them just since Friday. Seriously. This is the data from the Oklahoma Geological Survey. They keep updating it. You see, on the left there is the date and then the time. Then they give you the exact latitude and longitude, the exact location where the quake was centered. Then over on the right, they've got the magnitude of the quake. If you're in Oklahoma and you think you feel the ground shake, A, you're probably right. There have been 103 freaking earthquakes in Oklahoma just since Friday. But B, you can also go to this list online to check for sure and see how close it was to you. This is interesting here. This is the column right next to the magnitude column on the right-hand side. This ends up being really important for these kinds of quakes, specifically in Oklahoma. This is what shows you the depth, how deep into the earth the epicenter of the quakes are. And that matters because apparently the more shallow earthquakes are in Oklahoma, well, those are the ones that are more likely to sound like bombs going off. They make huge explosion sounds. Let's talk about some of those recent earthquakes. You've been feeling them. Well, if you're like most folks, you've probably been hearing some of them as well. They almost feel like a daily occurrence around here in Oklahoma. It certainly have been the last few days. Uh, 3.5, that's the biggest one to hit Edmond. Happened around 8 p.m. last night. Biggest one in the last couple of days, anyway. KOCO's Ken Passoff talked to a scientist about all those loud booms. This one's just a few inches. And there are many new cracks in Nancy York's newly built home. Her tile floor, her ceiling, and her walls all are damaged. Not only did she feel eight tremblers in just a few hours, she heard them. Like bombs going off. It's just a huge, loud noise, and then it's like a reverb from that boom that just shakes the entire house. That's from KOCO, the ABC affiliate in Oklahoma City, reporting this weekend. And there has been no let up since that report this weekend. 103 quakes since Friday at this point. And a lot of the recent ones aren't small. What's going on in Oklahoma right now is kind of intense. Even if you only look at quakes of magnitude 2.5 or more, so the bigger quakes, check this out. These are the number of those size quakes in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. Oklahoma had, on this count, 40 to 100 good-sized earthquakes per year for the last few years. Then there was a really big spike last year, a record for the state, up to 222 earthquakes of magnitude 2.5 or greater. But now look at this. Already in 2014, there have been 94 good-sized earthquakes. We're less than two months into the year. If Oklahoma keeps up this pace, the state is set to have more than 700 significant earthquakes this year. Already, some of the quakes are big enough to be damaging people's homes. Oklahoma has had more than 100 earthquakes since Friday. Today's only Monday. And a bunch of them were accompanied by huge, booming explosion sounds. And quite a few of them were big enough to cause damage to homes and other buildings. Now, 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 the state has hired a new seismologist for the Oklahoma Geological Survey to try to figure out what exactly is going on. And there is this fancy website that we've linked to at our blog today that lets you keep track of the quakes as they happen. So it's not like the state of Oklahoma is in denial or anything. But you know what? Dozens of earthquakes every day? It's totally possible, of course, that it's all one big coincidence. The earth beneath the Oklahoma City suburbs is just being churned up by some big swing-away ice crusher or something, right? It'll all settle down on its own. One big coincidence. Maybe that's what's happening. But I will note that when the Dallas-Fort Worth airport needed to stop its earthquake spike a few years ago, they temporarily shut down the wells that were injecting fracking fluid into the ground at high pressure on the airport property, and lo and behold, those earthquakes stopped. Everybody knows that would be a crazy experiment for central Oklahoma, right? But so was 103 earthquakes just since the end of last week.